Hey everybody, my name is Brad. I'm one of the coordinators here at the Boulder Bookstore. And today I have a selection of books written by authors who are not born in the United States. Uh, so first off, I have this really wonderful cookbook by Sammy Tamimi called Falliston. Uh, Falliston is the Palestinian word for Palestine because P does not exist in their language. And this is just a really good all-around cookbook. A lot of nice light meals, very heavy based on vegetables, lots of yogurt dishes, stuff that's been really helpful in the super hot days that have happened in the last few weeks. Beautifully done, and Sammy is a regular worker with Yotomo Dolenghi. So, world famous chef, really beautiful book. Uh, next, for kind of a lighter read, I have The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared. Uh, this is written by a Swedish journalist. Um, the 100 year old man, on his 100th birthday, decides that he doesn't want to celebrate. So he climbs out the window of his nursing home and goes on this wild adventure. There's elephants, there's theft, there's mysterious briefcases. Um, and then every other chapter is just retelling his whole life history. And he has been privy to a lot of really ridiculous events, including the Spanish Civil War and getting drunk with Harry Truman at a Taco Bell. Um, so pretty interesting, really light, fun read. Uh, everything else I have, not very light. <laughs> right now I'm reading The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. She's from Japan. This is, so far, one of the best books I've read this year. Um, there's a group of people called The Memory Police and they make items disappear from people's memories. So one day it's roses, and all the rose petals fall and disappear. Uh, one day it's calendars, you know, one day it's birds, and people just forget these things exist. There are some people who retain, um, retain their memories, uh, and the main character here tries to hide one in a hidden room in her house. Still not sure where the story's going, but very, very interesting so far. Little Eyes by Samantha Schweblin. I probably pronounced that wrong, but Wonderful book. There's also an interesting article in the New York Times about her this year. She's actually stuck in Patagonia, even though she lives in Germany now. Um, she said that's doing a lot for her writing, just being stuck in a cabin near no one. Um, this book, in the not-too-distant future, you can have a robot that lives in your house, or you can be somebody that controls one of the robots that lives in somebody else's house. Uh, you don't know who you're going to be connected to, you don't know who's on the other end, and really, really terrifying in a very beautiful way. There were some uplifting stories, most of them were very, very scary. Really, really good, highly recommend, very quick read. Next we have Joe Abercrombie. Um, some of you may be familiar with Joe Abercrombie. He wrote a, uh, wrote a really good trilogy a few years ago called The First Law Trilogy. This takes place in the same world, but if you haven't read it, you don't have to. If you did read that first trilogy, a lot of the main characters in this are the children of the main characters from his first trilogy. Uh, this is a magical realm that's going through an industrial revolution. Kind of interesting to see the magic working with the industry and the workers' rights uprisings and all of those things, the people on top kind of getting torn down. Joe Abercrombie writes really dark, gritty fantasy. Uh, it's beautifully, beautifully written. He's an incredible writer. This is coming out in paperback, I believe, this month. And the sequel is coming out next month. The third book in the trilogy is already slated for September 2021, so there's no waiting for 11 years hoping a book will come out. He writes very quickly. <laughs> and no Brad list would be complete without a Marlon James reference. Black Leopard Red Wolf was my vote for the best book that came out in 2019. Uh, it is a classic fantasy quest style tale. They're trying to track down the lost heir to a throne who's been kidnapped by a god. The god is essentially a vampire made of electricity. It's based all in African mythology. It's beautifully written. Um, Marlon James is, in my opinion, the best living author in the United States. He's from Jamaica originally. He does live in Minnesota now. He's great. And if you like Marlon James, he was also featured in an anthology online called A Moment of Silence, which can be found at blackmnvoices.com. It's 50 plus back voices talking about George Floyd and COVID and everything that's going on at our present time. Um, so yeah, those are all books written by people not born in the United States that I think everybody should give a peek to. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, and I'll be here most days. Thank you so much.